Hello, welcome to the Gardening Tutor channel. Today we're going to talk about suckers underneath this beautiful shrub called Harry Lauder's walking stick. I'm going to show you the suckers from afar first and then we'll get up close. We are going down inside this plant and we're going to be removing these suckers that are around the trunk of this little tree. So all of these upright growth are called suckers and if you allow them to grow these guys right here all of these if you allow them to grow they're gonna soon take over this beautiful single trunk if you cut this most people cut the suckers like this they just come in and they just cut anywhere they just do this but if you give a nice clean cut it's going to invigorate growth like this old cut of mine did okay I left them here so you could see where when you do a cut like this above ground it really invigorates more suckering. And you're, you're always gonna have suckering in Harry Lauder's walking stick, but um, this is how you slow it down and you have to take care of it or the suckers will just take over the whole plant. Ideally for suckers on any plant that you're trying to get rid of them, you wanna get down below the soil and cut into it. Actually, I could dig that out. I don't have a shovel right now, but I could actually dig that out, but I'm not going to. I'm going to get in here and I'm going to damage this instead of making a clean cut. Let's see if this works. I cut into it. Ah, shoot. My, my pruners are too sharp. Cut into it a little bit <laughs> and then you want to damage it. Well, I'll show you another way to damage it. You can come up here like this. You see that? You just don't want this to come back, although it will, but this will slow it down, okay? And then you can cover that back up with soil. We're gonna try it on another one here. Maybe we'll have better luck showing you this. Biting in a little bit and twisting without hurting your pruner or your hands and damaging it. That's much better. See that? That's nice and jagged. That's what you want when you're removing suckers. When you have a uh, I'll just keep going while I talk. When you have a tree in your lawn, say, and it's a suckering type tree, let's go over here. Um, you can cut the sucker and actually use a hammer and smash it and damage it. And that, it may not get rid of the suckering from there, but it'll slow it down. Oh, this is a good one. There, see that? So nice and damaged. So I'll clean up the rest of this and then show you at the end what it looks like. All right, I've cleaned up the front side of this suckering uh, Harry Lauder. Now um, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna clean up things even more with a bigger tool. This is my hand pruner, but I'm gonna come back with a lopper and, and really get down underneath the soil and get some of these out. And I wanna show you how big, I mean, they just get bigger and bigger. If you come over here, I'm gonna uncover one show you what's going on underground. Can you see this big guy here? Um, I'm going to come back probably with a sawzall and cut this off, either handsaw or sawzall. I'm going to saw into this and then I'm going to make cuts in it to damage it. But see how big they can get? And they can even get as big as the trunk, of course. So you want to come back often to get rid of the suckers so that they don't overtake the beauty of the tree you're trying to grow or the shrub. All right, well, thanks for joining us today and please subscribe to our channel, that's nice. And see us um, on our website, thegardeningtutor.com, on Pinterest and on Facebook. You can ask me questions and such on there. And I have a blog now too on the website. So see you real soon.